Welcome back. So we are going to make our first table this lesson inside the NT framework. And again, the NT framework has a DB context that we're building right now. And the DB context is pretty much the way that we map our database. How should it actually look? So we're going to make our first table for products. That's what we're going to do a unit test for this time. And I just made the fact called DB context. DB set must have DB set with type um, uh, product right here. That's the one we're going to try and do first. And let's just go back right here to show you. I added the link here in the description if you want to um, for the EF core guide right here. And they have a lot of guides so you can just go and check it out if you want to on how to query data, save data, create models and stuff like that. I'm just going to go down to their first example right here because that's what we're going to actually do. And notice the first thing we're looking at is actually they made the blogging context right here that we did our main context and they use something called on configuration. This is a way for us to kind of do a local database. We want to be able to do it on runtime. So that's why I didn't use this solution. Instead, we added a constructor like we looked at last time. So if I look at my main context, you notice I added the constructor instead. Just another solution than this one. And the final thing they do right here is they set up some DB sets. And these actually are the tables that we need in our database. So we need a table in this case for a block and a table for a post. Let's try test driven to create this inside our code. Now again, we have the main DB context right here. So let's try and go and use it inside our code. What I actually want to do is again, I want to start out by just having a mocked context right here I can use. And all I want to assert this time is just very simple. I'm going to do assert true. And here I'm going to say that I expect that the mock DB context dot products, now it's not there yet. So we're going to create this one is actually of the type DB set. And again, notice the DB set is something that comes from the entity framework. And again, if you look right here, that's how it looks DB set block uh, post and block right here, we're going to make one for product in our case. So that's all I want to do. I just want to make a test that the context has something called products of the type DB sets right here. That's what I want to test. So what we're going to do is just create this products right here. I'll create the property and boom, there we go. Now we have the new property. So right now it's object and let's just keep it like that for a second and let's try and rerun the old test right here and see if we have a running unit test, a new one we just created. Just expand this so you can see it. And it's run the, the test. And we get an error because of course, it's an object we're getting back, but I said it need to be product DB set right here. So let's try and go back to our context and make an uh, DB set product right here. There we go. Now we have that available. And uh, let's just rerun our test down here. And there we go. Now we have a DB set that's actually of the type products. Happy days. We're going to stay with the DB set for a second because according to the guide, that I found on his page right here, there's one rule that is that all your DB sets need to be virtual in order to really use the framework properly. So we're going to do that and create a virtual DB set now. And it pretty much means that we can in instantiate and use lazy loading when we're working with our data. I'll talk about that later as we move forward in order to but it's well, it's, it's kind of just a quick intro right here. It's kind of just a way for us to say we don't want to load all data from the database right away. We just want to load it as we need it. That's kind of what we can do with the virtual keyword. But for me, it doesn't matter if it's virtual or not. So in order to use his mock framework, I'll gladly add that virtual keyword right there to kind of make this into a virtual DB set in just instead of just a basic DB set. So let the virtual keyword and just one more time to make sure that everything is actually running. I'll just do a run right here, run all unit tests and hopefully we are still running as expected. And there we go, we got a green test. And let's just end it there. Now we just got our first table into our context. And again, we did a completely test room right here. I just faked a user up here inside my core, right here in the models, there's a fake user just to show you if this was for some reason, added as a user by mistake, because somebody did a copy paste or something. Uh, and I just rerun my test, hopefully now it should fail. So the small guard I made right here is not that important, maybe but still a copy paste would be saved right here. So we don't end up making wrong uh, inserts into our table inside the database where it places users instead of actually placing products. So let's just put it back to product, get rid of that user, we won't need him for now, it was just for testing purposes. But there we go. Now you can actually see that we have the first unit test and we've created our DB context test driven. So see you next lesson where we'll try to work with the repository. Bye bye.